So really quick, guys, this is a short video, not very long, something I wanted to kind of talk about. Uh, let me go ahead and read this first, okay? Uh, you guys may have seen this on uh, Legicators. You probably heard about it from Sweetie and other uh, auditors. Um, so let me go ahead and read this. So Bradley Spilgeric is charged with one count of domestic violence, a misdemeanor in the first degree. One count of aggravated possession of drugs, a felony of the second degree, and one count of tampering with evidence, a felony of the third degree. Bradley was arraigned in Ironton Municipal Court on 7-28-2022, and he received a $50,000 bond. So, automatically, all cops are bad, right? All cops are bad. Uh, sweetie may have been right. Um this, from what I've heard, this uh, specific person's been under the microscope for a while. Um, I'm not saying that Sweetie was right. I'm not saying Sweetie was wrong. But I am going to say that I'm not going to fucking support that. Now, does that mean I hate the cops? No, I don't. I, I don't. Obviously, I don't. Uh, I don't think all cops are bad. I don't think all cops are good. But I think that about pretty much any occupation or if you're just a regular person on the street we don't know what our neighbor is doing as far as we know they could be sacrificing goats to the dark lord himself while cooking up meth and building nuclear reactors out of i don't know body parts and shit that's a little out there a little out there but yeah you know what i'm talking about maybe maybe you don't but anyways i i think this is this is bad this is, sets a bad precedence uh, with the town of Ironton, especially the police force. Um, it's, it doesn't look good. It doesn't. And um, I feel bad for the good police, the good people on that uh, in IPD that this is going to affect. Again, the media doesn't treat uh, the police at a positive light. They just don't. Uh, there's a lot of things that's been going on that's involved the police, and it just doesn't help the case. Um, now, like I said... Not all cops are bad. Not all cops are good. So if, you know, an auditor gets on here, some fraud auditor starts saying, see, I told you so, all cops are bad. It's just not the case. It's just, this is just another incident where it happens to be a cop. Yes, people with power seem to do some crazy, corrupt things. And this may have been the case. Um, but like I said, I don't support that. Um now, don't take this out on Chad because he is a part of the IPD. He has nothing to do with it. Um, and I know people are going to try to question that. And I know you guys won't uh, do that, but there will be people that will. They will automatically assume that, oh, Chad's part of the IPD, so therefore he is bad. He is corrupt. Um, it's not the case. Not the case. So don't be doing that. Um, guys, I want your opinion. What do you guys think about this? Um does this help the case against police? Because I don't think it does. I don't think it helps. Um, but I do hope justice is served here. Uh, I hope, you know, we do find something out that um, if there's more people doing it, maybe we'll find out about that. Uh, usually uh, a pig squeals. And not the police or pig. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have really said that. No. No, just because it's a cop doesn't mean it's a pig. Damn it. Why did I say that? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, not what I meant to do there, but you know what I mean. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Later this week, hopefully by the weekend, we have an exclusive interview with Deborah. Deborah, I think, is Rogers. Sweetie's new partner in crime, Miss Deborah. And man, she's a firecracker. You just wait.